Hello, Rob Lambert here with Asset Protection Training. This is the first of 15 videos on the perfect asset protection plan, Perrin, off your balance sheet and out of Dodge in Perrin. I love it. Look at this title. There's nothing better because that's really what perfect asset protection is. It's what I try to achieve for all my clients. And this series of videos will let you understand, will help you understand and visualize asset protection. It's image driven, icon driven. Click on the icons for a short overview of each topic. Okay, let's get into the topic and I look forward to teaching you. This is the tool I use. It represents you, you and your life. It uses circles for humans, squares for corporations, buckets for trusts and triangles for pass-through disregarded entities like LLCs. Now, let's go up here in the upper right and we have you, you are a circle. You have six different types of assets. You have a piggy bank, which represents stock securities, uh, property that can be moved, uh, basically liquidity. You have a house, it's locked to the ground, it can't be moved. You have a pension type assets, IRAs, fancy pension plans, no matter what, they are all subject to state or federal law. You have maybe commercial real estate, it's locked to the ground. Everything that's locked to the ground is treated differently than things that aren't locked to the ground. You might have intellectual property, that's what this light bulb represents. If you've got intellectual property, you must protect it. I will show you how. You probably have significant personal property, cars, jewelry, art, things like that. We'll talk about what to do with that if trouble ever comes. And you have family, you have beneficiaries. They're in this circle. You also have an estate planning obligation represented by this pin tip. And you maybe will use domestic asset protection technology, defective that it is, it still is usable for real estate, you may use that. We'll talk about that. Click on these images for full explanations. You have obligations to Uncle Sam, the tax man, state and federal tax and other obligations to the governments that provide you, hopefully, safety and take care of you. You have to pay for it. That stimulates obligations and sometimes litigation. We'll talk about that and unique to the United States, but not, uh, not unseen in the rest of the world. You have the little red devil contingent fee litigators attempting to separate you from every penny you have. If you have more than you should, more than they think you should, and you do anything that they can torment you with a lawsuit with, you can count on being sued. I just got finished protecting six doctors in one city because they all felt they were guarantors of a perfect birth. You simply have that little red devil. And I will teach you how to make that little red devil become much smaller and less effective because just like common burglars, they do not work on principle. They work to make money. And if you make them spend $10 to collect 10 cents, they're gonna find somebody else to go torment. And that's my greatest joy, having them leave you alone because of technology using rules. Here are the rules. There's 13 important rules. These are the first three. Trust no one. Doesn't need any explanation. Don't tell anybody anything you don't need to tell them. Unless they have a need to know, don't tell them. Don't let them know you're rich if you are. You may break that rule now and then. But the more you break it, the more trouble you're going to be in. Now, the next two rules are the rules that keep your assets safe. You want to get them off your balance sheet. OBS, off your balance sheet. What you don't own can't be taken from you. This is the first goal. You want everything off your balance sheet. You want to own nothing and control everything. You've all heard that before, but it's real. It feels just the same to be flying around in a jet owned by your trust as it does flying around in a jet owned by you except your jet is easily taken if it's owned by you, and it's not easily taken if it's owned by a trust. So you want everything off your balance sheet, and ideally you want to trigger the second a rule. No country automatically enforces U.S. judgments. The second mechanical rule, 
And that's a rule that features a judicial gavel to symbolize that you've taken away the judge's jurisdiction. You've changed the battleground. There's an easier way to say it. You've chosen where to fight. You've chosen the rules. You might want the Cook Islands. You might want Belize. You might want the rules of some other country. Well, you can do that if you've set up a proper structure. You get to be in charge of the game. We'll be talking about the rules a lot more, but not just the rules, the tools. The tools are three entities, a trust company. A trust company is a corporation, usually owned by fancy lawyers in little countries. You want to go to Belize or you want to go to the Cooks. Those are the only two places with good asset protection rules, period. There aren't any, there aren't, aren't any, even any close seconds. And that trust company will be owned by a prominent lawyer with a prominent family with history in the country because these are lucrative, wonderful business ventures that are very unique. Uh, they assume the trustee position over a carefully drafted asset protection trust, which will contain many provisions, the main provisions of which help you take your assets that are in that trust off your balance sheet, triggering the OBS. If it's off your balance sheet, you, you have that little blue marking um, available. You want it off your balance sheet. Anything in the trust is off your balance sheet. But the trouble is, if you put it in the asset protection trust, the trust company has control of it. The trust company can touch it. And that violates the first major overriding principle, not even a rule. Trust no one. Trust no one. Don't trust me. Don't trust your trust company. Don't trust your business partners if you don't have to. Trust no one that you don't have to. So we don't put any assets in the asset protection trust. Yes, we spend a lot of money drafting them. You've got a set law, you've got a protector, both of whom are probably you if the financial seas are calm. You have your beneficiaries, which include you, and they uh, can be changed any time by you. But the trust really owns nothing except one thing and must never own anything but one thing, which is the membership interest in the offshore LLC, which is, lo and behold, managed by you. Managed by you. Note, it's off your balance sheet. Note it has, um, it's out of Dodge. It's a perfect place to put money. Why? Because it's unreachable. It's off your balance sheet and it's out of Dodge. Now let's back up a little bit. What happens if you don't feel comfortable putting all your money or a lot of your money in a place, a bank in the Cook Islands or a bank in Belize or a bank in some little place that you might do a trust in the future? Uh, who knows where you're going to go? If you want to put it in Switzerland or Singapore or major, major banking cities, well, what you do is you form uh, this other entity down here. This is a Swiss LLC in the example that I just gave. But it's managed by you. And look, it's off your balance sheet and it's out of Dodge. Your money does real well here. Now, I'm just going to run this through because this is the key. The, the learning, learning Asset protection will happen when you watch the manipulation of things you can do. Look, I just formed an LLC in Delaware or any of the 50 states. I had it managed by you. Anything in this is off your balance sheet. So you should put money in it. That's real easy. And while you're putting your money out of harm's way, why don't you move your intellectual property offshore? That way, if there's a problem in your business, you can still survive. Let them take your building, let them take your machinery, but if they don't have your URLs and your patents and the things that, that make your business work, they're out of luck. They got an empty shell. That's no good. You can also put your real estate off your balance sheet by putting it into an LLC in the United States. Look, it's off your balance sheet. It's managed by you. Same as up here, except it isn't available to this little redheaded guy over here. This is a real good thing. You might have a series of these because you never want to mix your metaphors. You never want to have your real estate projects in the same entities. You never want to have any income generating assets in the same bucket. That's um, a rule I didn't show here yet. I'll be talk talking about that in later videos. Now, this is basically your, your world. 
Your goal is to make you smaller. Look, your money's shrinking, your cars, your personal property is shrinking. And this is this icon refers to your team, the people, the, the tools you need to do this right. I'm gonna teach you asset protection for 30,000 feet. And I want you to note that the next, the next training is on how to protect your money, how to engage in offshore banking. Watch it, just click on the little piggy bank and you'll get a short overview of that. Thank you very much for watching and have a healthy and protected week.